Welcome back. Well, you may not know it, but Stark County is full of history tied to the Valley's beginnings. A lot of that history is in the city of Roma. There is work underway to preserve what still stands there today. Here's Rick Diaz with today's Comi Gente. It was cold winter Texan day in Roma, and the first stop was Our Lady of Refuge Church, built in 1853, 167 years ago. When they walked into our church, getting out of their cars, and the orchestra was there to greet them, it, it just blew their minds. The orchestra kids of Roma High School showed their talent, the historic building and the youth of today sharing a space. We are at a point where we've got so much history, we've got so much culture, we, we've got such a strong foundation in the fine arts. The Texas Historical Commission. It was a guided tour. The next stop was the Santa Ana Chapel, still part of the church, and again, the kids are there. It's a walking tour. Everything is close by. It's fascinating the fact that this place was, was built in 1764. That's before we had the uh, revolution. But also learning about um, the history of the town and seeing the effort that's going into trying to restore the town and uh, make it available for people to learn about the history down here. Next stop is the World Birding Center, itself a historic building with a new purpose. And when it's time for a break, there are the kids again, happy to entertain. And then it's a visit to Casa del Rio, another historic building with a view of the old suspension bridge. The kids. The kids are so talented. I'm just so proud to live here in the valley because we do have a lot of talent. They were amazing. Another interesting note to this story is all the video you have seen on this story was shot by those talented kids at Roma ISD before the latest coronavirus rules. The tour was organized by the church and the city of Roma. Of course, the music really, really brought them in. Uh, it made seeing the buildings uh, have much more importance. The city of Roma, proud to show off its history and its future. For Channel 5 News, I'm Rick Diaz.